hi guys so good to be here again thank you so much for tuning in you guys are awesome and of course we're here to give you the most trending exciting reliable and authentic happenings in nigeria and more especially in the area of politics in this present time of the Edo election there seem to be a lot of war of words and uh, it seems this will not stop until after the after the election and uh, you know even after the election we're not sure if it's still going to stop but all the same we also believe in the power of incubancy and uh, you know right here it is serious war between uh adam sushamale and governor obaseki fresh war started again yesterday and for some reasons uh i don't know but i will bring you details of that shortly but guys you know how we do it right here before then if you haven't subscribed please ensure you hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on your notification bell because that is the only way you get notified anytime we drop a new video okay guys don't forget this is saffron media and we give you the best and the most trending happenings in nigeria so guys let us dive right into the details of this report as it says that days after the oba of benin boca the truce between the, the camps of the people's democratic party and the pdp and its candidate pastor saige zayam of the apc and governor godwin obaseki uh right here adams Oshomale on saturday resumed their war of words addressing the pdp faithful in word 8 and 10 ego local government area edo state yesterday obaseki according to his special advisor on media and communication strategy krusi osagi said Oshomale, the immediate past national chairman of the, the all progressive congress apc was fighting him and his re-election bid because he Obaseke reversed the sale of a daikin market of at Uselu, Benin, which he alleged that Oshomole sold to his friend. The governor also threatened to bury Oshomole, the governor's predecessor and benefactor politically in Edo State. Oshomole on his part described the governor as the most dangerous politician he had ever seen. Worst life thrives on propaganda and lies. Addressing a crowd in Ego local government area, Obaseki said the battle for the Edo state governorship seat on September 19 was between him and Oshomole and not between him and the flag bearer of the APC, Osage Ize Iyamu. Obaseki threatened that what with their votes for the PDP, Edo people would render the ex-national chairman of APC irrelevant politically and bury him and end godfatherism in the state on September 19th. He alleged that the former governor of Edo State sold a daiki market to his friend, who he said char charged rates that were beyond the reach of traders who needed the lock-up shops. Abaseki said, I reversed the sale of a daiki market and brought the rates down to the level that our people could afford. That pitied me against the godfather. He said that I could not be a governor. Is it God? Are we fools? Obaseki assured that the governorship election is in less than a fortnight could put an end to godfatherism in Edo State, urging the electorate to come out in mass to vote for the PDP to enable him to consolidate his achievements in the first term. He said a child that was born 20, 22 years ago since Nigeria's democracy in 1999. Is that child not old enough to be a man by now? This democracy will continue and even beyond us by the grace of God. If you come, do your own and if another person comes, allow him to play his own part and leave. That man, Oshomale, is very dangerous. See the party APC that they put under his watch. He has destroyed it. This fight is between Oshomale and I. The fight is not between me and Ize Iyamu. We will bury Oshomale politically. We have retired him. And on September 19th, we will bury him politically. Contacted for reactions on behalf of his boss, Oshomale's media aide Victor Oshoike said he had not got a clearance from the former Edo State Governor and ally of Oshomale, Washington Osifo, however, described Obaseki as the most dangerous politician he had ever seen, declaring that Edo Governor thrives in lies and propaganda and describing the governor as a stranger to Edo politics. 
Osifo, a current member of the Edo State House of Assembly and a former commissioner for education in the state, urging discerning minds to ignore the falsehood being peddled by the drowning Edo governor, who, according to him, would be defeated in September 19 by a more experienced and very popular Ize Iyamu to ensure good governance in South South State, he said. He also said, what do you expect from Obaseki, a stranger in Edo politics and a drowning man who, who thrives in deception, lies, trivialities and propaganda? I know Obaseki very well. He likes to take Edo people for granted and enjoy falsehood. Obaseki misinterpreted the APC. That is why he was disqualified by members of the screening committee of the governing party. He is becoming desperate, knowing fully well that he can never defeat Ize Iyamo on September 19. Obaseki is the most dangerous politician that I have ever seen. He lies a lot, said by Oyoshoke. The Shomole ally also maintained that the former national chairman of the APC never sold a Daiki market to his friends, describing the allegation as senseless, mischievous, vexatious, and misleading, and would naturally be ignored by right-thinking members of the public. So guys, you can see, is another serious war of words be between Adams of Shomole and Godwin Obaseki and you can see that he said he sold the market to his friends and he's been collecting huge uh, tax from the traders that he has been able to retrieve it and also been able to reduce the price that some of the market uh, men and women pay that uh, you know uh, Shomole is such a dangerous man to the politics of Edo State and he's encouraging every Edo sons and daughters to ensure that they kick him out that is ready to to bury him politically that he shouldn't be heard of after the september 19th election in Edo state and you heard some of the reactions that some of the friends of uh, oshomole said that uh, they called obaseki all kinds of name as a dangerous man and all sorts and all sorts but all of this i believe september uh, 19th will speak for itself because it doesn't matter what kind of propaganda it doesn't matter what it is at the end of the day there will be a winner and definitely and a winner will emerge as uh, the governor of Edo State come September 19th and of course the swearing-in will be in November so definitely there's much more that we can still uh, see regarding this election so my people let's uh, keep our fingers crossed whatever you have to say about this drop it in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for staying tuned I really do appreciate you to have a pleasant time bye for now